Southern Appalachian Brook Trout at the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute. These broodstock were collected from Left Prong Campton Creek, which is in the Cherokee National Forest in northeastern Tennessee. It's a fairly involved process. The first thing that we do is we catch the fish and we put them um, in a solution of an anesthetic that helps keep them calm. We take weights and lengths of all the fish and then to spawn a female, all you have to do is kind of gently squeeze down her side and if the eggs are ready and they're mature, then they will just kind of flow out of her and we'll catch them in like a mixing bowl, just like you would find in the kitchen. Once we have eggs from a female, then we will get some males and we will do the same process with them, spawn them over the eggs in the bowl, and then we actually mix them together with a little bit of a saline solution and a turkey feather. That turkey feather has very gentle bristles, so it doesn't damage the eggs like maybe a spoon would if we use that to stir. When we add the water to the eggs, that is what we call the activation period. So that is when the eggs are actually getting fertilized and that outer shell of the egg hardens up. And we let them sit like that for a few minutes. And then we go through a disinfection period where we actually add iodine to it that will kill off any germs or anything that could cause the eggs harm. And we let that sit for another 15 minutes. And at the end, we count the eggs and we add them to a jar where they will incubate for the next month. So they do take a month to hatch, and then once they hatch, they actually just lay on the bottom, just absorbing the nutrients from their great big yolk that they're born with for another month. Once they swim up, then we can start feeding them little tiny foods like little brine shrimp. They will grow up to about two inches here at the facility and then in the spring we will stock them into a creek that the brook trout used to be but have since disappeared from. The Southern Appalachian brook trout is the South's only native species of trout. That makes them really special. We consider them part of our natural heritage. This uh, reintroduction program was fully funded by the Trout Unlimited grant program. They like to give grants to different projects that are conservation minded. Without their support, you know, we, the brook trout would really be um, in a worse off situation. We want to have these streams uh, in the best condition we can have them in uh, uh, for future generations. We're, we're at the southern end of their range, so uh, this is where it's most important to uh, try to take care of the fish. From the beginning when we started our grant program, the aquarium was a natural partner for Trout Unlimited with the brook trout restoration uh, efforts that we have going on. Well, we, we actually started working on brook trout restoration back in the 80s, but this is an ongoing thing. It's been going for a long time now and it'll continue.